and a split between Israel and the United States. It's now out in the open. The two close allies are divided over the future of Gaza and a Palestinian statehood. The United States has asserted that the only establishment of a Palestinian statehood can solve this long and short-term challenges in the region. However, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has completely rebuffed this idea. Listen to these conflicting statements. We do believe that this conflict, as all conflicts do, will end at some point, and that there needs to be a political path forward for the establishment of a Palestinian state. That is the only way, not just to answer the legitimate hopes, dreams, aspirations of the Palestinian people, but it is also, and this is critical, the only way to provide lasting security for the Israeli people. I tell this truth to our American friends, and I also stop the attempt to impose a reality on us that would harm Israel's security. A prime minister in Israel should be able to say no, even to our best friends. Say no when necessary and say yes when possible. These public remarks by Netanyahu could be seen as his sharpest rebuttal of U.S. policy so far. Netanyahu says the idea of creating a Palestinian state would clash with the security of the country and that in any arrangement in the foreseeable future, Israel must have security control over the entire territory west of the Jordan River. He also responded to the calls for scaling down the offensive in Gaza and asserted that it will only happen until the country achieves all its goals in the territory. Netanyahu's comments come a day after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said in Davos that the two-state solution was the best way to protect Israel and unify moderate Arab countries. Last month, Blinken, in his fourth crisis trip to West Asia, engaged in intense diplomacy with Arab leaders. He then took a raw deal to Israel that its neighbors would help rehabilitate Gaza and will continue economic integration with the nation, but only on the condition of an independent Palestine state. U.S. officials have reportedly said that they would not allow Netanyahu's apparent rejection to stop them from pressing the matter with their Israeli counterparts. The U.S. State Department has reiterated its calls for post-war peace process and has urged Israel to make some tough choices. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.